Hello everyone. In this INR number 44, we are going to discuss about color coding of IV cannulas, right? So color coding of IV cannulas, we can remember by a mnemonic and that mnemonic is, Oh God, with greatness, please bless your progeny. Oh God, with greatness, please bless your progeny. Right, so this is how we can remember. Right? So, o God means O is for orange, G is grey, then Y with white, then greatness green, then please pink, bless blue, then your yellow and progeny is purple or violet color. Right, so remember usually IV cannula sizes will be ranging from 14 to 26 gauge. You can see they are ranging from 14 to 26 gauge right so everything you can remember that you can add to 14 to 16 to 18 to 20 to 22 24 26 so every time you have to add two so you will get the sizes of this gauge right except there is a one entry between 16 and 18 there is a white color so white is the odd one so you have to just remember white is odd 17 so you have to add 17 otherwise everyone is having two 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 of the interval right so smaller gauge means what a smaller gauge means they are having wider cannula and they are having higher flow rate so wider cannula and higher flow rate will be there and if you are seeing the higher gauge that means there is a there is a narrower cannula and they will be having low flow rate right so normally adult size is 18 to 20 remember 18 to 20 means 18 will be green color 20 will be pink color so 18 to 20 gauge is the normal adult color for blood transfusion we are going to use 20 g 20 g for blood transfusion which will be pink in color preferred for the pediatric size is the 22 g 22 g will be blue in color 22 g is in blue color and infants and neonates is 24 to 26 which will be a yellow to the purple so 24 to 26 is for the infants and neonates so yellow to the purple right when a, when a, you are attending a patient of dehydration and diarrhea you want to give maximum fluid so this was the question in exam you want to give maximum fluid for a dehydration and diarrhea patient so what should be the size of needle so remember 16 gauge or gray color so remember gray color is for dehydration and diarrhea because you have to give the maximum fluid right in trauma as per uh, latest atls guideline in trauma you have to use this short and wider bore two cannulas short and wider bore two cannulas of green size 18 right so green 18 g size we are going to use for trauma patient right so these are the sizes and just remember their flow rate also right so orange color 14 gauge flow rate is 270 and you can see as the uh, they are getting increase in number of this means the cannula is getting smaller in caliber narrower and their flow rate is also getting narrower or smaller so when we are seeing 14 it is having maximum 270 then 16 is having 200 ml per minute 17 white will be having 140 ml per minute green will be which we are using very often in the you know trauma cases that is 85 ml per minute so examiner they ask this question remember this is the point examiner will be asking you when you are going to use the green what will be the flow rate 85 when you are going for dehydration what will be the flow rate 16 so flow rate will be 200 ml per minute right whenever you are using blood bank 20 20 what will be the flow rate 55 ml per minute right so blue needle which you use in pediatric cases that will be uh, 22 g and what will be the flow rate 33 ml per minute right so infants and neonate where you are using 24 and 26 rate will be 18 to 10 will be having very minimum because they will be requiring less this thing less fluid requirement so these are the important point about the iv cannulas and their flow rate their size and their color so keep revising these are important topic which examiner ask in our exam so best wishes to